The yellow perch might just be our favorite panfish. Big ones, the jumbos, are a challenge to catch and one of the most magnificently colored of all freshwater fish. They're also one of the finest fish on the table, a real delicacy. We usually begin with aggressive strategies, trying to keep things as simple as possible. Let's see how this day unfolds. Oh, got one, Douglas. Oh, and I've got one on the tip up here. Oh, neat. <laughs> oh, a nice one, Douglas. Way to go, Gord, that's a nice one. Good start. Yep. On the first drop. And I've got one here, too. Now, what have you got? I got a little walleye. Ah. Huh. We're in the first ice situation. We've got about, oh, looks like about seven inches of ice here. We're on Lake of the Woods, and we're gonna talk uh, situations. I think the main thing oftentimes at first ice is that you just have to keep it real simple. And we're gonna be using spoons to begin with, a variety of uh, uh, Northland spoons and uh, custom jigs and spin spoons. And for the tip-ups, you're gonna go with something like a little four-inch minnow, something with a single hook. So there's the spoon. And that's got the little single hook, and that's the one that I'm using on the, uh, um, the tip-up here. A new style of tip-up from HT Enterprises. So, main point, first ice, if you can get on fish, keep it as simple as possible. Go with a nice heavy spoon, something you can feel really well, something attracts fish really easily. Always be aggressive to begin with, and then if the fish turn more tentative, you've got to use other tactics. Comes one. Coming up. Whoop, flag up. Got him? Yeah, I do. It's a cool system. Perch. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Whoa. Just barely got him on the lip. Huh. You know, I think, you know, really this little tool has been around for a while, but it's going to be one of the hottest things, and not just for perch, because you can use this on virtually anything and the really cool thing is is that with tip-ups you always had a hard time with uh, you know like perch and crappies yeah like this biters, thing eh? this thing is so sensitive that you can use it for perch and you can use it for crappies so first of all we're using uh, just this is just a little forage uh, spoon and just a single hook and I like the hook to actually be you know, most people are just going to put it under the dorsal fin, but I like to run it alongside. So just like that, so the hook is actually pointing a little bit forward, and I got that probably under there a little bit too far, but we'll let it like that. So that minnow is going to be actually be anchored, and he can swim off to the side, but he can't get away. So you can see kind of, see if we can get him swimming. Oh yeah. That's how they, so the, he's anchored in place, so he can't get away, but he's still active enough to attract fish. Then I just put this right in the little holder here, and we're at 28 feet deep, but I'm just gonna let out line, just like this. I'm gonna let out line until it goes slack, and that means we're on the bottom, obviously. Yeah, we're on the bottom. Engage the reel. Okay, now you just go until the line is taut and so right now okay I'm just like probably about an inch above the bottom and because this is going to take about six inches to insert in this little holder right here that's going to be just about right so I'm going to go actually go up just a little bit higher probably another two inches then the line goes in this clip right like that the clip goes down the flag goes underneath the holder and the trap is set. And it is so sensitive, let's watch. I mean, this comes up when the fish pulls and it snaps out like that. And it actually feeds it a little couple of inches of line right at that hip. Yes, it does. And this is really one of those first tools that we've ever had that you could use for panfish, but it's great for other species too. And the whole thing is you can be jigging over here you can have this over here and it warns you when fish come into this spot, you can come over here and jig. So pretty cool system. Yeah, is that ever. This is gonna be one of the hot things for this coming season, I think.